700,000 Hong Kong dollars, you can buy this sick car and fly with the space car. Fly, baby, fly. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Dinesh and this is Cranks and Pistons. And I'm sure you guys figured it out by now what we have featured in today's video and it is something really sick. I've been wanting to drive it from a long time. No more tees, here it is. Tesla Roadster, baby. And the beautiful orange, KTM orange. So sick, to be exact. This is a Roadster Sport. Sweetness. So I checked out a couple uh, couple of Roadsters before, but I was waiting to drive one. And today, I'm hoping we're going to get a chance to drive it. And it's so sick. It's so... When you see it in person, it looks amazing. guys so positively i'm gonna get to drive so but before that let's go through the car and check out what are the fun quirks that this car is based out of so the tesla roadster was based out of the lotus elise i believe the lotus elise and this has got some 250 plus horsepower and uh i guess 250 kilometers of range as well fully electric single motor and these were the one of the first ones ever made so if you check out the wind number right here, you can tell this. So it's 520. So of the 2,500 that they ever made of the Tesla Roadster. So this is one of the first ones, one of the first thousand. And the color is a beautiful orange. I mean, I love my orange. I like KTM. I'm KTM blood, even though I'm riding a Ducati right now. But I've always been a fan of KTM. And this is called the KTM orange. That is so sick. And this is also a Roadster Sport. And with all these carbon fiber accents, even the vents have got carbon fiber in here. There's not much light, I'm not able to catch it. I'm gonna check on the other side. Yes, get it, get it, there we go. Carbon fiber vents and front vents as well. And we have the exposed fans right there. And with the sun hitting on it, it just looks so sick. Got the boys driving out. Excitement. But if you see the wheels though, it's tiny ass wheels. I think these are around 17 inches, baby wheels. But for this car, it goes really well. And the car is hella low. It's very, very low. Now let's move on into the car. This is the exciting part. So this is a convertible. I think, I think we can pull the roof off. I'm not sure about that, but inside, inside. So the owner of this car changed the steering wheels. He took out the Tesla wheels, put in the Momo wheels, which is not too bad actually. It looks pretty cool. And all the bare metal. So the build on this car is pretty much basic. It's not like all those new age Teslas that we have, but this is pretty much basic, but it looks really good though. The racing style seats on this, They've got the leather on the handbrake as well and the center console. So I'm going to get inside the car now. So that's going to be a challenge. I did uh, come here on the in the car, but I'm going to show this on camera. I got to make an ass of myself. I have to see if I can fit in or not and show it to the world, right? Yes. Now oh, you got to do a style, yo. OK. Leg in, one leg in first or butt first? One leg in, whoa, okay. Oh! <laughs> okay. Pull it up, pull it up, come on, fat ass. Okay. That's good. <laughs> so you have a position right there to put your left leg. It is an automatic, right? So you have a metal position there, plank over there. And then you have the brake and the accelerator. And this is low as well. It's like a fun, tiny kit car. So you can go ham on the roads. You won't even feel like you're taking too much space on the roads. You can just like maneuver easily in and out. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of the car now. 
So this has got some sick orange accents on the door as well. And like I said, the Momo steering wheels. Focus, my man, focus. It's all right then. You have the center console right here. I don't think this is out of the factory. I don't think the factory gave them Pioneer consoles. And then this is the display there. It'll show you the battery amount and this dial over here will show you the battery amount as well. But then the RPM meter is of no use in this because this is a single motor car, it's not a dual motor. So that is just, com that comes from the factory from Lotus. So they just changed the Tesla logo here from the Lotus to the Tesla logo, that's about it. Everything else is pretty much the same. The steering wheel also used to be the same, but then they did change it so that it's a bit more fun to drive, I guess. And then you've got speakers, like mad speakers here. One boomers there, boomers here. Coming down from the dash, you have the control system here. This is all it is, so you don't change any knobs or anything. You just have your parking there, reverse, neutral, drive. The biggest button is the drive because that's all we're gonna do. And also, you get a nice traction control button right here. Not sure what these two buttons do. Okay, they are for heated seats. These two buttons right here for heated seats. This is for traction control. That's cool. You got the seats here. You got a couple of speakers in the back as well. So, I guess Elon did do good by getting the Lotus design and then putting the Tesla motors into this. This is so perfect. I think they should uh, he should work with a lot of the big companies, probably take a Ferrari and make it all electric and give it the best performance possible. Or even take a Lambo, a sick Lambo and make it up. Why not, right? That'd be so cool. All right, let's start this baby up. Check out everything else. So like I said, you have a tiny dial here. Uh, hold on, let me wear the seat belt. All right, that sound was for the door. Now we have closed it, we're good. So yeah, this dial shows you your battery and your normal mileage of the car. Then if you come down here, you have a full instrument cluster. So since this is the first generation Tesla, this is all the screen that they gave out of the factory. The new ones is just fully screen all around right here. So I do like these buttons as well. A little bit of old school buttons. You know, you don't want to always press buttons to do all of your, sorry, press touch screen to do, uh, do all your work. Sometimes it's nice to have some hardware as well. This shows you your info, all your fuel saved, vehicle model, service info and stuff. And then this shows all your repairs, charging, your drive screens, you can change to multiple drive screens. The tuxedo is a valet mode, so you can do a speed lock. So they did think of a few things, not everything, but a few things. My God, this is so cool. I'm so excited right now. I can't believe this, you know, this is a car that is in space, guys. This car is literally floating around in space and we are sitting in one of them. This is not so much of a limited edition as such because they didn't make 2.5K uh, of these, but still it's quite rare. You do not see Tesla Roadsters roaming around much anywhere around, around the world for that, uh, for that matter. So the boot, you have a button right here. So once you pull that, and obviously there's no engine here. It's all just electrical wiring, battery, probably some hydraulic fluid around and obviously the cooling fan and washer liquid. So that's all right. This is so cool guys, it's so sick. I like all the louvers here, like this, all the holes down here. It makes it look so cool, aggressive as hell. So now for the back. The back doesn't have a button inside the car to open it, so we use a key, old school. This is old school electric, that's what I like about it. You have a keyhole right here. There we go. Got a nice little boot space down here for your tools, for your traveling comfort. And then you have the battery pack, the Tesla battery pack. Very danger, high voltage guys. It's very highly powerful and highly fast. It's not really fast though. I don't think this Tesla Roadster is really fast. So there was a correction. So this 
can actually run for 400 kilometers on one charge. I'm not sure about the max speed yet, but I would love to give that a shot to check out what is the max speed of this car. That'd be so sick. But for that, I'll have to buy a Roadster myself. Why is it not closing? I don't want to break anything. I just hit it in? Oh, okay. Alright, so you just have to press it in one by one. You don't shut it in like a normal boot of a normal car. You yeah, gotta be a little bit more precious with this because it is a one of a kind ride. In! Time to take this baby out. Let's go, boys. Okay. Doors closed. Seat belts on. Man, I'm driving a space ride, yo. This is hella exciting. And there's no power steering in this, you guys. I forgot to say that. All right, let's turn off the aircon. Reduce the sound. No power steering, so it's hella hard to steer. It's not that hard. It's not like those old school muzzle boys. Okay. Hold on, just, just come parallel with me. And I'm liking these tiny Momo steering wheel. So let's give this a shot, huh? Woohoo! Whoa! What? Let's do That's it, the camera flipped around. <laughs> Check this out guys, check out these lights set up here. For some reason it's got Italian colors. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, I have my homie here with me in the car, so let's get, get a better POV of this drive. <laughs> and you are a nervous passenger too, so this must be freaking you out. <laughs> Okay, on the curve, let's do this. So for 700 grand, you can buy this car, you guys. 700 Hong Kong dollars. 700,000 Hong Kong dollars, you can buy this sick car. Fly! With the space car! Fly baby! Fly! So quick correction on the dial guys. So the RPM meter, for some reason it's got the speedometer also. And there's additional speedometer to the side. I don't know why there's two. But it does show different different numbers. The speed that I'm going right now, okay. The green is probably a eco drive, probably regenerative drive. Okay. That's what it is. Oh. <clears throat> and every time getting in and getting out of this. Okay, okay. No, no, no. So one leg out first, and then bombs out, and then push yourself out. Whoa, that was good. And we come back here, we have these two more killer fuel guzzling cars, the Bora and the BMW 3 Series, M3, I'm not sure, it's got the cool stripes and stuff, but yeah, I'm a fan of this now, all the spotlights on this, that's what's up, it's got these custom plates, Tigger. So that's it for the vlog today you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Tesla experience, this was mad, it was a beautiful color, someone's backing into me. I don't want to get hit. I still want to live my life to drive the Paganis. I want to drive the big boys, yeah? 
Yes, they're not electric, but very soon, I guess they're going to be putting the same technology into their cars as well. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, guys. And if you appreciate this sort of content, I recommend that you smash the subscribe button also. So you get to know whenever I upload new videos. So I'll catch you guys on the next one and have a good weekend. So till the next time, peace.